Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. I know you guys love these videos, or at least a lot of people do. Um, and these boxes are everything that has piled up in the last month. So, um, or since my last unboxing video, which I think was like a month ago. A few packages I've actually received, but I've already opened them. <laughs> so these are the ones that are kind of left closed and I thought I would do this um, all together. And since there are actually so many boxes, I think there's like a ton of spring stuff in here, a spring and summer collections. Um, this would just be too much for one video. So I'm gonna split it into two and put one video here on this channel and one on my German speaking channel, which you can subscribe to um, if you speak German, if you want to see the video there. Um, and that is going to be how the cookie crumbles. I really hope you enjoy watching this video and let's get started. So first off, I'm going to open this pretty box by Lush Cosmetics. Ooh, I love, I love always opening the Lush stuff because it just smells so good. So yeah, Easter 2016, the Bouncy Bunny Shower Jelly. Bounce back from Easter indulgence with the uplifting Brazilian orange oil in this perky jelly. This one is really different. I mean, I have a, I've had tried a few of these shower jellies, but this one's different because it has, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Oh my god. I think this like was in a form or something. It's kind of unrecognizable. Hang on. Oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> Ew. Okay, it's slimy, but there is um it's a bunny. It's uh like a little bunny here. I don't know if you can see with the floppy ears. Ew crap. Now I've got this like all over me. Well that wasn't smart, was it, Julia? Well, wow, it smells really good though. <laughs> then there's the carrots in here. Oh, I love these. Oh my god, these are so fun. Look, they're like technicolor. They kind of go with my background today. Um, these are bubble baths and they look like carrots, obviously, but these make an amazing amount of foam. I've actually used up the one. I think I still have one left um, from the one from last Easter. Um, the carrots, like you can just take one and put it under foaming or under the running water and it totally foams up. It makes an amazing amount of foam. Oh, they smell really nice too. Boohoo lemon and grapefruit oil. There's a soap in here with packing peanuts on top. Kind of wish that they had um, wrapped this because I think there was glitter or something on top, which you can't really see now. Oh yeah, this is actually a gift. So I think this is the rainbow gift here. So I guess that this is wrapped up because it does have like rainbow colored here. It's like yellow and um, orange and kind of pink color. It's called over the rainbow soap. I don't understand this. I don't know if it's really a soap or also it can be used like a bubble bath. So let's dig into the next package. And this one is by MAC Cosmetics. Now this one has, I think been here for a little bit. So hopefully this is still in stock. Like I said, I only do these once a month and MAC releases so many collections each month. Flamingo Park is in here apparently. Modern Twist Kajal Liner and the Match Master something in there. So this is the Beauty Powder and this is in the shade Pearl Blossom Beauty Powder. Very pretty. It's a very light pink with a sort of silver pearl to it. I think this will be really nice on people with my sort of skin tone or maybe medium tone skin tone because it's more of a kind of a lighter shade but it's really, really, really pretty. And then there's also the Match Master um, shade in here and this is in 2.0. Oh, this is one of the cushion foundations in a way too dark shade. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a cushion foundation. This is really orange. Holy smokes, this is orange. Um, so this is in 2.0. The, the formula feels nice. It feels like a cushion foundation formula. Usually the cushion foundations are like very light in texture. They have sort of a, a light um, very subtle uh, coverage. So they're not, you know, they're not full coverage or anything. I think these will be really nice for the summer actually. You could just do it with your fingers or the sponge that comes with this. And then this thing is kind of neat because it does close on top of the, um, it closes really securely so it won't dry out as fast. Matte lipstick in the shade Silly. Ooh, that is very pretty. That looks um, a really nice warm pink tone. This is so springy. <laughs> it's kind of similar to what I have on my lips. The color I have on is more cool toned. So actually I really like this one, the Silly. Modern Twist Kajal Liner. And this is in the shade Ocean Liner. And it is a twist up variety, like a grayish blue, which is right there. So next up I have another mystery package, Keras Taz L'Incroyable Blow Dry. So it seems to be some kind of blow drying product. I freaking love this haircut. 
I love this haircut. So from the documentation, I think it is basically a um, blow drying lotion that you can apply to damp hair. It's supposed to protect your hair from heat and also help to lock in whatever style you go for, either by blow drying or by using a flat iron or curling iron or whatever. It's supposed to lock in that style and you can basically reactivate the product by using a lower temperature. So this is kind of interesting because it's kind of a multiple use product. You know, I mean, it's like it does a few different things apparently. So, I mean, I'm excited to try it and I'm just going for the next box. This one is quite heavy, so. Ooh, more Kerastaz. <laughs> Discipline Curl Ideal. So there's quite a few different products in here. I love the color of this packaging, this kind of peach color. The Discipline Cleansing Conditioner Curl Ideal. I have heard of that method of like using a conditioner to cleanse. I've I have tried it once with a drugstore product and I wasn't convinced on it, but um, you know, I've never tried it with sort of a more higher end product. Silicone free, super cool. And it is also um, sulfate free. This is really cool. I am so happy that they brought out a product for curly girls. <laughs> and then there's also the Mask Curl Ideal which looks to be like a heavy conditioner. It says here, it's for over voluminous, unruly, curly hair. And then there's also the Dis Discipline Mousse Curl Ideal, and this is um, like a mousse. And then there's also another product in here, the Oleo Curl Definition and Suppleness Cream for Unruly Curly Hair, and this is a leave-in treatment. I like the packaging. <laughs> I love pumps like this. I think this is so practical for in the shower so you don't have to like fuss with slimy bottles. <laughs> oh, I just, I love the scent of Kerastase stuff. I feel like they use very high quality or like sort of expensive smelling perfumes. So I actually can't wait to try this. This looks really, really cool. So next up, I have a couple products in here by Vichy. Ideal Soleil After Sun Pflegeöl. So it's an like an après soleil, like something that you would use after you've been out in the sun. And it's a shower oil. I guess this is supposed to calm down your skin if you have been out in the sun or whatever. Kind of, a, I don't know, this has sort of a sweet smell. I have never tried an after sun spray like this as an oil. I usually try, try like the lotions or the um, the sort of spray stuff, but this is like an oil, so this could work really well. Oh, and it says that it's also, hang on, this is supposed to also make your tan look nicer. Does that have any self-tanner in it? I'm not sure if this has self-tanner in it. I'll have to read up on that. It does smell a little bit like self-tanner. Oh, better get it off my hands than just in case. Ida Soleil SPF 50, anti, like anti-pigment or something. So it's supposed to, of course, protect against the, it's a UVB and UVA broad spectrum sunscreen, but it's also supposed to help against um, dark spots. This um, sunscreen, I just put it on the back of my hand here. Now this has a lot of tint in it. Um, for me, this just won't work because this is quite orangey. So I think this is meant for the face. So if you have already a tanned, like a more tan complexion, <laughs> this will probably work. But for me, this is just, it's kind of orangey. Yeah, it, it's, it's quite actually um, very pigmented. It, feels almost like a very light foundation or something, then maybe this will kind of work as a two-in-one, like sunscreen and foundation, because it is it is fairly pigmented. Um, a big box by Zoeva. <laughs> so here's something. Ooh, I like how this is packaged. It's very sleek. So it says here, the heart, everything we do comes from the heart. This looks like a mirror. <laughs> it's a bit anticlimactic for you guys. Yep, it's a mirror. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting butthole lips. I need to fix that. <laughs> and then this is sort of, I guess, the main thing in here. All right, graphic eyes and box. This is very exciting. <laughs> Ow! Sustained injury. Oh, another box. <laughs> it's a box in a box in a box. Open sesame! Ooh! So the packaging looks very cool. It's a big box of eyeliners. There's a little booklet in here with all the um, colors, I think. And then there's um, a sharpener. That's cool. Uh, a black and a white and then all different colors. So it's a waterproof eyeliner. They're really nice. Like they feel like high end. They feel really nice. This is made in Germany. I like made in Germany. <laughs> Here it is. They feel super creamy, almost a little bit slippery. Like they glide on really, really easily. But I'm wondering if these set because these are supposed to be waterproof, so they must set. Let's just do a couple swatches in here. This one is called Opulent, so it's like a red. This one looks cool. This one is called Regency. Uh, this one, ooh, 
this one doesn't look so good. It looks nice swatch, but it looks kind of slimy on my hand. Like it's kind of moving around the product as I apply it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. It's like the product applies, but then it kind of glides around as I'm applying more. This one has a little bit of a glitter to it, like a sheen to it. Let's do the black one. Ooh, that looks really nice and black. Very, very rich, deep black. But okay, so these are supposed to be apparently waterproof. Now, I don't really have water here, but let's just see if they have set. The ones I've swatched, the red one I swatched the first. And this is definitely set. Like I'm going over it and it's not, not moving. All right, this brown one that I swatched, when I look at it close, it has like burgundy sparkle to it. So the colors are really interesting. I feel like they, uh, the colors are unique. Like they're not just like a flat red. Like this is kind of a coppery red and there's shimmer to it. And this, this green has like a, a nice shimmer to it as well. The only thing is like the purple one, oh, and this one too, this one applies really patchy. I don't know if you can see. Um, the purple and this one are super patchy and like not, don't look even. Some of the other ones are really pigmented, like the black one looks really nice. They're a little bit stubborn. I think you might need a oil-based something to get, <laughs> I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Vichy oil because I think you do need an oil to get these off. Yeah, they, they, they come up with an oil much easier. So you only need an oil-based makeup remover or like I use a cleansing oil and I think they'll come off like no problem. So that's all the boxes I'm going to unpack here. The second part I'm going to have on my German channel. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them up on the same day, so it might not be up already, um, but I will, once it's up, I'll have a link for it below this video if you want to go check it out if you understand German. Some people have said like they really hate when I do that and I kind of understand your frustration. On the other hand, I have a German channel and you know, people are really interested in these things too. And some people really just don't speak very good English and they can't understand what I'm saying. So I think it is fair. So at this point, of course, I want to thank every single brand mentioned in this video who has sent me their products. I am super excited to try out all these things. And you know, I kind of just like using them in videos. You will see me use them in tutorials and makeup looks and stuff like that. I think every single makeup look that I upload on my channel, there's products in there that have been sent to me. And that's why I really do these videos to show you guys what's coming out new on the market and also just for transparency. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also check out my playlist because I have more videos like this and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.